When it comes to authorization on AWS, there really isn't an easier way than just setting up Amazon Cognito in front of your APIs, storage mechanisms, or whatever you may have. However, there are going to be times when you want additional social providers or simply using a different authentication mechanism altogether. Now, AppSync will let you write your custom business logic in the form of a Lambda function. So you can have your users authenticate with Clerk and use the JWT token provided from that inside of a Lambda function to dictate whether or not somebody is authorized. Let me show you what I mean. Now, oftentimes you'll have something like a user pool set up in here as far as your authorization mechanisms go, right? Uh, but in our case, we have a Lambda function that we wanna use. And you can definitely peep out the other authorization modes that you can set up as well. We're gonna specify the Lambda that we have right here. And because this is a React application, I have React Writer DOM in place with a uh, specific layout where we can say if the application is loaded, but there isn't a user, navigate to the signing page. Otherwise, if this is loaded and we do have a user in place, then go ahead and fetch their JWT. We're gonna pass that JWT as an outlet option to whatever children components that we may have. Now I have a sample page set up and inside of here, you can see how we're accessing that JWT token that was passed in from the previous protected layout page. I'm gonna use that in a use effect to call a mutation called delete milestone by owner, where you have to be the owner to make sure that you can delete this item, not just anybody can delete it. We're gonna pass in some kind of random ID of the thing that we're trying to delete, as well as that JWT token. Now here's where the Lambda comes in place. Now inside of this Lambda function, you can see in my main handler here, that token that we pass in from the front end, is simply gonna be tacked on to the event.authorization token field here. We also have our clerk secret, as well as a list of valid domains. Now we can hit up an endpoint to grab the JWK key set uh, from this endpoint so long as we give it the secret. This is gonna have information like who are our users, things like that. I'm gonna take that, turn it to a PEM file. All this is within the clerk documentation, but effectively I'm going to verify the token that I got with the PM file that I generated to say who is this user. Now we can decode that and get things like where do they come from, which is this decoded dot authorized party. If the domain that they came from isn't available inside of the list of accessible domains, or we couldn't decode the value, then they're not authorized. Otherwise, we'll grab the sub, which is the username, and we can use the sub to dictate whether or not they are authorized. Now, if they are, this resolver context is effectively metadata. And I'm gonna put on an owner field here with the sub of the user that we just authenticated against. What's really great about this approach is that in any of my resolvers, my custom business logic methods, I can have a request and this request will try to delete an item in this use case so long as the condition for that item has an owner field that is equal to the owner that we just pass in. If that's the case, then have the database return that item to our API, which then gets sent back over to our application.